is a 1984 wasn't 1984 coming at you with another minecraft video today we are going to be playing a custom adventure map created by yours truly it's called ship in a bottle um real quick i'm just going to explain a little bit about it um the ship in a bottle map was made by me the goal of the map was to create a uh a, a not it was an adventure map that doesn't have an entirely rigid gameplay that you can kind of not choose different directions because you do have the same ending all the time. Um, however, you can you can approach things in different ways and it really requires some creativity and, and, and thinking. It's not just a beat em up map. Actually, there is no beat em up in this map at all unless like a mob spawns or something like that. But that's just usual. Um, so the premise of the map, well, actually, I'm going to uh, I'm going to read the rules here real quick. So welcome to Ship in a Bottle. No breaking the bottle glass, meaning like all that stuff right there. You can break the glass on the ship itself, and you can break the cork, as I think I mentioned here. Um, uh, let's see here. No cheats, obviously. Follow the objectives and have fun. And of course, the map was made by me. Um, real quick, I oh wait, nope, never mind. I was gonna show you the uh, the command blocks back here, but uh, I'm not in creative mode. So let's read these books super duper quickly. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Um, so the story is that you are an explorer. Tra Wait a minute. I'm going to do this in my in my explorer voice. You are an explorer traveling across the ocean to find Atlantis and steal the jewel of the ocean. On the way, you see a rock with beautiful sirens on it. Their song lures you to their songs. Lure, their song lures you and your crew toward them. All of a sudden, the sirens shout a spell at your crew, and the and your magnificent ship is suddenly inside of a massive bottle. You then proceed to faint. Some time later, you wake up, only to realize that your whole crew has perished of hunger. You are the only survivor, and must seek safety. However, the sirens still thwart your path, and your ship is still in the bottle. Being a clever sea man. You devise a plan to escape the ship. Defeat the sirens by burning them, which is, of course, the only way to kill sirens, is common knowledge. And seek the jewel of the ocean all by yourself. And survive until the rescue team can find you. The first step is to find materials. There are plenty of good places to look. Maybe you should explore the captain's quarters first. Dot, dot, dot. He was a tricky man and always said things from the other sailors. Follow the instructions provided to you in this chest and press the button to commence your adventure and keep the objectives book with you for reference. And uh, real quick, the objectives. Um, this is um, this is part. This is most of the gameplay. Most of the gameplay is just um, I wouldn't say tedious, but it requires thought. I wanted to make this kind of an intellectual map, and uh, you know, it's not too in depth because I made it in less than a day. So obviously this stuff is mostly in order. Make a crafting table, make a cobblestone generator, make an infinite water source by using the leaking water in the bottom of the bottle, start a farm the size of five dirt blocks, grow a tree, smelt the hidden gold, craft a flint and steel, burn the sirens, and collect the soul of the sirens to prevent them from returning. Uh, I don't actually remember that part. I may have actually left that out. I did make this map a while ago. Uh, anyway, travel to Atlantis, defeat the guardians of the Jewel of the Ocean, uh, the, which would be the villagers, and capture the Jewel of the Ocean. Using materials from the ship and Atlantis, build a floating house so that you and the other survivors can survive. Or actually, I changed my mind. There are no other survivors. They they died. Can survive until help arrives. Thanks for checking out this map. La la la. Uh, let's see here. Credits. Yeah, that's uh, okay. That's that's not necessary. Optional. Uh, go fishing, catch something, and cook your catch. Uh, completely disassemble the ship, which we're not going to do. Uh, find the hidden diamond in Atlantis, which we are going to do. F craft a boat and majestically sail away. And then um, let's see. This is just the etc. Okay. Yes. Okay. Important stuff but not really that important. So without further ado, let us begin our adventure. So it is daytime and we have uh, we have commenced our journey. So the objectives is probably something we should keep. Let's keep that at the middle right there. All right, so real quick, just an exploration of the ship. Uh, basically, uh, yes, nothing nothing too special. I did make the, uh oh, hello zombie. Yeah, like I said, there are occasional moms that spawn, but it's not a beat-em-up map like most adventure maps are. You do not want to press this because bad stuff will spawn. 
Um, by the way, this is going to be like a walkthrough. It's not going to be. I mean, obviously, I can't really, I can't really do stuff like most people can because I made the map, so it won't be a very, you know, it won't be a very um, entertaining. Let's play it. This is more of a walkthrough or a guide in case you get stuck or something like that. Or if you want to check it out, and uh, you can just watch a little bit of this and then download it and see if you're doing things the right way. So yeah, don't press this because I believe there's stuff in here. Yes. Okay. Like I said, I did build this a long time ago. Not a long time ago, but a fair amount of time ago. And I haven't really gotten around to recording it. Uh, that is my fault, but uh, that's okay. So, uh, first things first, we do need to get some wood. So let's get this, and we're going to make a crafting bench, and that will be the uh, our first objective. So, wait, why did I just... You know, you know, sometimes when you're recording and you do something like that, you just feel, feel like you've messed up. Okay, so let's real quick make our crafting bench. Okay, so uh, let's see here. What is the next thing we need to do? Uh, make a cobblestone generator so let's place this down right there that's cool and then we can proceed to do faux shizzle and let's place the torches down here actually just because that might be better in terms of spawning stuff because every once in a while like i said a bad something will spawn on the um on the boat itself so let's get this jungle wood. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far and uh, and you think that this is an interesting challenge, which would be building an adventure map in less than a day, then uh, then please press the like button below. It really shows me some support and uh, tells me that you guys like what I'm doing. Because uh, if I don't get that that kind of message, then then I'm just gonna not know if I should keep doing stuff like this. I don't know. Anyway, let's get this wood. I don't want to have to come back up here and get any more wood. Uh, obviously, the home boat is made of wood, so I guess running out of wood isn't technically a problem. And there are actually trees hidden on the boat. It's not very well hidden because I think it's in the captain's quarters, if I remember correctly. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Why don't I have a torch? Did I break something? Oh, my goodness. I think I broke something. Yeah, great. Okay, what did I break this time? I don't know what I broke. Let's just put that right there. Actually, no, let's, let's take this, because I really don't want stuff spawning. Let's place it right there. Okay, so let's really quickly explore the boat. There are some dummy chests like that. Let's see, a bucket. That will be important for making our cobblestone generator. A fishing rod we can keep. Yeah, let's keep that right there. And you know what? Let's put our excess books right here. Uh, optional. Yeah, let's keep that. And then, yeah, we don't need that anymore, so that's all good. Can go down here where there are uh, lots of stuff. Where there is lots of stuff, sorry. My English is failing me. Uh, let's just jump down here, because we can build back up later. Okay, that, that's where the lava is that we need to build our stuff with. Um, Let's see here. Let's turn all of this into jungle wood planks. And then we can uh, we can build up here so let's not build that way yeah that's that's a good idea okay we can do that and then that and then that we're gonna build tools here in just a second I just want to build the basic groundwork for our our um, for our adventure so this is uh, this is the crew that's all that's left of them like I said they died of hunger uh, they died of hunger so horribly that the rest of their bodies disappear don't ask questions guys this is minecraft so let's go back here lots of chests over here let's see I don't even remember really where everything is but that's okay because um, that kind of keeps me even on my toes even though I made the map uh, let's see here where where is everything and okay there's the dirt now one more thing I do actually remember this bit is that there is stuff under here so uh, so yeah there's there's chests under all of the main supports and that is uh, that's kind of part of the map that keeps you I wouldn't say how, how would I say this it's part of the map that, that keeps you really engaged because you have to always be looking for stuff it's not like everything you want is going to be inside of the chests that are very obviously placed um, let's see here okay so the next step would be to get some water uh, let's see here wait a minute what, what would the next step be um, okay so here's what we need to do we need to make a cobblestone generator so we need to get the water so let's go up here and, and get this stuff let's get this stuffy wuffity stuff 
And uh, and yes, by the way, we should probably get some of this wool just because that can be useful. Uh, yes, the wool obviously represents the cork. If you couldn't have couldn't have uh, gathered from the shape of the bottle and the fact that most bottles are held on by corks, actually, really quickly, just to um, just to keep this video relatively lag free, I'm going to toggle the downfall. That is not part of the map. And that's just, uh, I'm not cheating or anything by doing that. I just want to throw that out there for you guys to know. So, uh, by the way, you do not want to fall down. That's something that should definitely not be on your list of things that you want to do. Because that will actually lead to bad stuff. So, uh, so there are very different ways to approach building the cobblestone generator. Um, uh, while I was testing this out, I tried several different ways. One of the ways is actually building it in this cork area right here after clearing this stuff out because it does give you kind of a convenient ish space to do it um, however later on in the uh, in the life of this project I decided a better way to do it which is inside of the lava container itself now that does require getting rid of some of the lava but honestly that's that's not that big of a deal because you only need one for the whole video not video for the whole map and uh, that's it's not really that important. So so I would recommend what I'm about to do once I get rid of this. We can just use this for building materials, um, for non you know non essential stuff. Um, but yeah, that, that's what I would recommend doing. And uh, and yeah, by the way, the glass and everything, the bottle was uh, and the boat were handmade by me. And you will notice that it is off center. And I actually did that on purpose because if you think about it, nothing in real life is perfectly centered. So, so I, I wanted to make this not realistic, but, but visually not boring. If that makes any sense, I hope it makes sense. Uh, a lot of work goes into these maps, and um, it only this map I think took about seven hours or something like that. It was a fun little thing. I didn't have much to do that day, so, uh, so I just said, "Yo, well, I'm gonna make a map in, in in less than a day," and I think it turned out pretty well. I think that the ship looks kind of good. Uh, actually, we need to go down here, so let's build a bridge. Let's build a bridge that way, and then we can put that right there. By the way, we are going to need food. I will show you guys where that is in just a second. Um, that is, by the way, in the captain's quarters, if that's where you're, if that's where you're looking for food. Uh, let's see here. Let's jump down here, and then let's go right here, and then let's build that right there. There, the wool is really unimportant, so it's not like we're wasting anything important. Okay, so this is where the leak in the boat is. There's also one on the other side, and of course, the cobblestone generator will be back here uh, inside of the boat itself. Actually, uh, there are ladders right here, so let's build really quickly right here so we can get back up onto the boat and have a jolly good time. Alrighty then, so. Uh, let's put that right there, just because we don't really want to fall in holes. That's annoying. So, okay, let's go back up to the crafting bench. And we can get our tools now. That is that is an important part of this video. Um, oh, wait, wait. Before we do that, we should probably get food. So let's go to the captain's quarters. Um, you will notice that there are beds here, which are functional. They're not fake beds. I don't think you can actually make fake beds like that. Uh, anyway, so I said in the, um, in the book that... The captain is a very tricky man and, and likes to hide stuff. So you'll notice that this section right here is not very uh, congruent or, or very parallel to this section, which, uh, which shows you that the steps are indeed hollowed out. That's why I put the beds there. So if you, if you were to mine this away, then you would notice that, oh no, it's the captain's private supply of rum oh dear it's not actually rum uh you'll see it in just a second it's a uh, very creative rum it's uh what it is 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 glass that is arranged in a chest in the shape of a like a drinking glass or something like that see that very creative and the rum is of course golden apple so that way you can eat and and be happy and be happy because happiness is nice so let's eat so oh dear why did i do that that was a waste of glass goodness gracious Okay, looks like it is night time, so let us sleep in the bed. Alright, this video is uh, starting out kind of nice. Now, I will say that uh, the building the... Oh, wait, wait, one more thing. One more thing before I start talking about that is that we do need to get into these chests. Alright, alright, that is important. There are chests under here too. Uh, not really terribly important chests, however, they do 
contribute to some of the extra stuff that we will be doing in a later episode. So let's make an axe real quick. Yeah, let's make an axe because I really want to speed this up. So let's, uh, okay, let's, let's spend all of our stuff on sticks. Okay, there we go. So then, oh wait, we can't make an, we can't make an axe out of wool. Okay, there we go. I think this is, um, yeah, this is turning out pretty well so far. So let's use our axe and mine this way real quick. And we will notice their chests under each of these little flower pot things with trees in them. The trees are uh, a nice way to get wood. And I think it is actually part of the extra stuff that you can do at the end. Again, I made this a while ago, so I don't really remember too much. Um, okay, I don't think that's important, actually. Um, I don't know. I don't remember too much. I, I, you know, what I did was, is, uh, I would like to say that I didn't do this, you know, recording for a while, just so that I could kind of be on my toes about stuff, but in reality, the problem is that I forgot to make a video. Uh, however, a bonus part, uh, included in that little problem is that I will be discovering some stuff and say, hey, oh, wait a minute, I remember that. Okay, well, let us, let's see, what should we do? Let's make a pickaxe. Pickaxes are important. And let's put that right there. Okay, well, we have an achievement now. That's super duper nice. And let's put that there. And let's turn this into planks real quick. And glass, not all that important. Well, it kind of is. Okay, let's put that okay we don't need the objectives right now and food can go right there okay let's go downstairs and let's work on this cobblestone generator so uh what we're going to do is we are going to break this glass we're going to break this glass and please don't catch the boat on fire as i was saying just a second ago one problem that comes with doing your generator here is that every once in a while as i was testing it out Every once in a while, the, uh, the the boat will actually catch on fire, which, as you can probably guess, is a nasty side effect to uh, to what you, you know. It's not what you want to happen, obviously. So let's put the glass right here just to make things look nice, and then let us um, let's put glass right here, and let's put glass right here and um, here. And then we can put glass right here. So that way we will minimize the chances of catching on fire. Because that is obviously something that you really don't want to have happen. Okay, let's dig this away. Let's mine it away. Then we can replace this stuff right here with, with cobblestone. That is something that you should do. Uh, just simply be... Oh, wait a minute. I nearly forgot again. The, there's stuff back here. Okay, gravel. That's not important, obviously. Uh, why did I put gravel there? I don't really remember, actually. Uh, let's see here. I think if I remember, there's there's still stuff back here. Again, I do not remember that much about the map. Um, however, I remember just enough to show you guys accurately what you need to do to survive in this map. So, uh, let's put this... Hold on. Let, let's be methodical about this. Let's put this right here, and then and then that right there. All right, this is turning out well. So then what we can do is we can dig that away, and then we can dig that away, and then bam, we have just made a cobblestone generator. So let's get a little bit of cobblestone. Um, oh, wait a minute. I was stupid, okay, for, okay, that's, that's my bad, actually, guys, um, I realized what I did wrong, uh, it happens, it happens, what you need to do is you need to get rid of all but one of the lava, but that's okay, uh, it happens, and, uh, obsidian, fortunately, is not that hard to mine away, it just takes a while, and, uh, and we obviously won't get any obsidian back from this, because we're not using a diamond pickaxe, but again, that is okay, because obsidian isn't really part of the required stuff for this map, I think it's about to be mined away, if I think if I, it's hard to see being uh, mining obsidian because it's so dark and the mining texture is really dark too <laughs> so uh, so sometimes it's hard to tell what you're up against and let's see here all right um i am sorry about that my stream recording software coincidentally 
actually not broke, but it uh, it paused for some reason while I was recording uh, that little obsidian thing, and it made me start over. And I said, you know what? Just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna game mode game mode one it, and I uh, think that honestly. It, all I did was save us a little bit of time in the video, and since this is an educational video, I think that is okay. Hopefully you guys aren't too upset. So let us... Uh, actually, wait a minute, I just realized something. Uh, I had to repair the glass down here because I broke it while I was in game mode. Okay, let's put that right there because I did not have that... Uh, what's it called? That stuff, that glass. And I don't want to cheat, so yes, I will not give myself any more glass. Um, okay, so... Uh, the video should be only a couple more minutes, and then I'm going to go into part two. I am planning on making this a, uh, a several-part video, uh, because even though it did take several days to make, it, it, it does have... Or not several days, why did I say that? I Okay, I got this backwards. It, it took one day to make, but it will take several episodes, just because the gameplay, like I said, is not tedious, but it, it is intellectual, and there are certain ways that you have to approach certain things. So, uh, so yeah. So, uh, let's get just a little more. Let's get 13, because lucky 13. All right, so now, let's see here. Let's read our objectives. Uh, oh, wait, not optional. Bad. Wait, where are the objectives? Oh, there it is. Okay, I couldn't see it for just a second. So, now we need to make an infinite water source by using the leaky water in the bottom of the bottle. So, uh, part of that was actually this water right here. So we're gonna borrow this real quick, we'll put it back in just a sec. And uh, and now we are going to place, we can use brown wool for this because it's really not that important. Um, so fortunately we made kind of like a little pathway here. So what we can do is, is we can mine that away and then we can get this stuff right here um there we go all right let's go back and let's place the cobblestone back where it belongs and then we can go from there wait where does it belong right there i believe yes okay and then we can put some right there too just for simplicity's sake. So then we put that right there and we have created an infinite water source. Yay! So let's put that back because that is important, obviously. And now we can go to the next page. Actually, no, we cannot. <laughs> Start a farm the size of five dirt blocks. So uh, a farm is kind of... Um, let's see here. We need... We have... Okay, we have all the stuff we need to make a farm. Let's put... Actually, let's put a chest right here just uh, just to keep some stuff in let's uh, let's put the trees right there the flower parts are not important really um, okay slime balls we don't actually need I don't believe let's see here we can put the gold right there actually yeah we don't have coal yet or we don't have um what's it called so yeah we can't do that actually yeah no we can't we can. We, we're going to wait a little bit to make a furnace. Uh, bone. Actually, we do need bones for bone meal. And then we need to put that right there. Actually, right there. And we don't need this axe. And then let's... No, let's not move that. And we don't need gravel. We don't need cake. Cake is nice, but we don't need it. We don't need iron. Um, optional, we need that with us, and then, I think we're pretty much good, we don't need that, really. So, um, actually, let's, let's enchantificate ourselves, just because we can. Alright, so then we don't have to worry about that anymore, and we can get that out of the way. So, actually, yeah, w when we go up here, we're gonna sleep in the bed, and then we're going to, why aren't you, okay, there we go, now we can jump. Alright, we are expecting experiencing some lag i don't know why probably just some some you know wet ebbs actually it might be raining again i do have a pretty non good computer a non substantial computer i put it that way so um so usually something like rain which involves particle effects will cause my computer to have lag so where should we make this farm um farm 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 let's make it right here so one two three Four, five. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, we should actually probably make it a tiny bit bigger, uh, just to you know keep things consistent, and uh, and just you know because we can. 
Uh, also, we're going to put some trees in this area. So we need to have it decently sized anyway. So let's make ourselves a hoe. Let's make a hoe. Let's make a hoe, guys. All right, we have made a hoe. So now, actually, real quick, let's make some bone meal. All right, so we have 12 bone meal. That should be kind of enough to get stuff started because we probably will not, well, I don't know, we might not run out of golden apples, but just in case we do, we do have a farm so we can sustain ourselves. Technically, if you want to, you could hypothetically survive forever. Um, yes. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. We do need something else. We do need, uh, to have some wool here. Or not wool, but water. Um, which means that we ultimately need to put wool here. So, let's put that right there. And, okay. Yes. I think, I think this should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. And, let's go down here. Okay, let's go right here. And then real quick, place that right there. Oh, nope, nope, not you. Not you, not today, sir. Not today, all right. Let's go right here. And then we can uh, we can get some water from the bottom of the boat again, where we have our infinite water source. Yay, so that way we can sustain our farm and not lose our crops to dryness. Uh, let's go right here. I know this is not the most efficient way, given that we only have one bucket. But like I said, there there is a process to everything. And uh, not only is it a thinking game, but it's also kind of a, a work game. It's kind of a game that's a testament to being able to finish things. So, um, I don't know. I think I think it turned out well. Um, hopefully, you guys think that too. And I don't want to be pushed off the edge here. And, okay, we're going to put... Okay, let's not, let's not spend too much time on this. So we're, we're just going to put one or two... Uh, things of water here. I would build an infinite water source, but we don't really need to do that um, I mean, we already did it and it wouldn't hurt I guess to have to but but honestly, I don't see it as that big of a deal So uh, so yeah, let's go down here and let's place that right there. Alrighty then so Let's actually real quick because I do want to make a kind of infinite water source Okay, yeah, yeah, actually we're gonna make an infinite water source. We're gonna make an infinite water source, and it will be snazzy. Um, uh, okay, we made one. We made one up here, and that is good. That is good. Oh wait a minute. Why am I holding down shift? That was a mistake. That was a mistake. So now we can hop up here. Now that we have stuff underneath, and we can uh, we can sustain our crops. So let's start the farm, and now we have five out of five completed so we can move on to the next page grow a tree um actually i am going to wait to do that in the next episode got to keep you guys on your toes and uh yeah so uh i'm going to start building something a little nicer actually as i as i end off the episode uh so yeah thank you so much for watching guys this has been, uh, it's been pretty fun so far. I hope you guys are enjoying the map. If you are, I will include if I decide to upload. Wait a minute. There's no water here. Hold on. Hold on. As I'm, as I'm ending off the episode, I will, I will get more water. I will save the crops. Okay. So, um, so yeah, I will probably upload this to a, uh, to a file sharing site, specifically a site dedicated to, uh, adventure maps. And uh, hopefully you guys will you know see that sometime and enjoy it and hopefully maybe download it on your own. It does not require any resource packs and it works with any version of Minecraft up until like right now. So so there's no compatibility issues. Like I said, it was made in less than a day, and uh, it's pretty simple. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching. And please remember to press the like button. It shows me some support and uh, really keeps me going keeps me going guys Make, tells me that you guys are enjoying this so uh, so yeah again thank you so much for watching there are the sirens that we'll get to later and i will see you in the next episode